It's church like you've never seen it before. You come as you are. The pastor bears his soul and more. Let's be more listening. Let's let us hear what, exactly what you've got planned for us, Father. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. It's okay to drop in and drop your clothes. On this day, most were covered up because of our cameras, but they insist they're comfortable receiving the word of God from a pastor in his birthday suit. I really don't think God cares what you wear when you worship. The, the thing is worship. But ask people outside this congregation about a naked church, and you'll get this reaction. A whole? Oh, my goodness. Do you think it's disrespectful at all? Yeah. No. It's not dis disrespectful to God. Absolutely not. I wouldn't be here. Some of the biggest moments in Jesus' life, he was naked. Uh, when he was born, he was naked. When he was crucified, he was naked. And when he arose, he left his clothes in the tomb, and he was naked. If God made us that way, how can that be wrong? Why do they do this? Well, the chapel is part of the Whitetail Nudist Resort in Ivor, the only year-round nudist resort in Virginia. It opened back in 1984, and prayers are being answered here in more ways than one. Management here says before anybody passes judgment, the naked truth is in this down economy, business is up 12 percent. Obviously, we're doing something that people like. Business is booming. More than 10,000 people visited last year. Forbes magazine reports the new travel business can rake in $800 million a year. What does being a nudist, what does that do for you, sir? It's a very comfortable, I'm comfortable in my body, even with the scars and everything else. It's very stress-free. These folks say being nudist has nothing to do with anything sexual. It's about being free of societal judgments. I come here and, and you know, you look around, you, you can't tell who's unemployed and who the millionaire is, who the corporate executive is and who the plumber is. Because there's no pressure to be anything other than who you are. And they say that applies even if you're naked in church. They're caring, they're understanding, and they're, they're community-oriented, and they're family-oriented. Uh, we have one of the nicest, most involved chapels of any place around. I'll put our chapel up against just about any other church around. I consider it a privilege and a gift that God's given to me. In Ivor, LaSalle Blanks, 13 News.